Hey everyone, it's Tammy. So I literally just got finished filming the unhauling video of all of this great stuff that I got from the Jolly Fat Elf. And I thought that I would go ahead and step right into actually making this the good stuff. So I'm kind of spreading out this tissue paper that she includes in the, because she wraps it up nicely like it's a little present. It's so sweet. And I did an unhauling video of the uh, what I got from her and then some other things I had ordered on Etsy and such so that's what this stuff is so I'm just kind of putting it in the corner hopefully you guys can't see it too much if at all and huh, let's see I'm excited this is what we got just to recap really quick we got the birthday wishes she of course gave us the four projects and they're all in their own envelope and we got this, which is the designer series paper pack, six by six, of a cherry on top. And there's tons of cute little designs. And then we got a whole set of washi. There's five washies in here. Really, really cute. Beautiful colors. And the baker's twine, which is, um, oh, I don't remember. I threw away the thing, but it's like ultra thick baker's twine or something like that. So it's just one color and it's thicker than regular baker's twine by probably at least one and a half times as thick if not two so let's go ahead and get started shall we I'm so excited um, I haven't even looked at the projects yet or any of that so let's see what this is I know that she sells these um, separately like she'll sell the, the kits so I'm not gonna like show the directions on here but I do want to kind of walk you through the process and um, I won't give dimensions or anything just out of respect for her but uh, I wanted to go ahead and get started on the cards and so um, I let's see how am I gonna do this I think I'll just put this over here I think it's out of the view but then it's I can still read it because I have not honestly even looked at any of this so the first one we're going to make is a washi stripe card and it looks like this will be it and I just love these little envelopes And I'm just trying to carefully take it all out. All right. All right, all right, all right. How cute. Okay, so. I'm pretty sure that one of these would go on the inside. And let's see. I'm not sure what we do here. Um, choosing a diagonal and here I'm going to start with the washi tape. We need a kit. Okay, so it looks like we use the washi tape. This one, and this one, oh, maybe all of them, and this one, and this one. Okay. Okay, I just don't know where we were supposed to put this. Add three strips of washi. Hmm. Well, it looks like she just incorporated it with the washi, so maybe she didn't use this washi. It looks like she used that yellow washi instead, or yellow thing instead. But So she did... Um, we're doing a card that incorporates both washi and cardstock. So let's just get started. I like this washi a lot, so I'm going to put this one down first. 
and washi is like really easy to cut. I don't know if any of you guys have worked with washi or not, but it's like, um, it's not like regular tape. It's paper tape. So it's really easy to cut and it's really easy to remove and then put back down or whatever you might need to do. I just wanted that whole piece on here because I like that. <laughs> I like this washi, so I wanted to see it real good. And let's see. I think what I'll do is I'm just kind of making this up as I go along. She did hers the way she likes it, which is perfect. And I am kind of just doing mine the way I might like it. I'm going to use a green piece, I think. This is a really great idea for cards. Oops. And I just want to make sure that I get them like even among each other, like straight, if I'm making any sense. Even among each other. What the heck am I talking about? I want to make sure that I get them parallel to each other. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Why do you talk so funny? I don't know. I don't even know. Oh, that's cute too, the stripes. But I'll do this yellow. And I'm going to use a little piece of snail. And I think this is the new Whisper White because it is really thick. I'm just looking at it thinking, I don't even know if this is Whisper White. But I think that this is the new, I don't know, it's very nice. If this is the new Whisper White, I'm impressed. And if it's not, I'm still impressed with whatever it is. So I'm just trying to make sure that that's parallel. And I probably could have done a score and made it even crisper fold, but I'm good with it like that. I will use my bone folder and just kind of go over just to make sure it's folded and stuck down. But very cute, very cute, very cute. And then I'm going to put one more piece, and I think I'll use this blue. I don't think this is blue. I think it's Bermuda Bay Blue or something like that. Oh, this washi is very nice. As a connoisseur of washi, I can tell you that this peels very nicely and feels very smooth and is the quality is excellent. That's just my humble opinion as a washi connoisseur. Now I did it over the edge so I'm just going to bring this so that I can put this down and then I will cut that off because I just want it to look nice and lay still lay still it's going to lay still it's not alive I'm going to have it lay straight and like not pudgy if that makes any sense not popping up off the card so just cutting it like that allowed it to do that so see how it's a nice point now that's all I was doing and then I'm going to take my <laughs> I'm going to take the washi off of my finger <laughs> if I can get it. There we go. <laughs> I'm going to take my stamp set, which I haven't gotten out yet, and I haven't gotten out my little stamp cleaner, which is here. So let's go ahead and get this thing ready. I know I tell you guys this every time, but this is a Stampin' Up! scrub. This side is my dirty side. This side is my clean, dry side. So this one's wet, this one's dry, and I just scrub my stamp after I've used it on here just to keep it nice and clean so we're going to stamp birthday wishes and we're going to do it in black and I have some stamping up black but I frankly like this memento a little better Misty said they're going to reformulate the black, and I hope that that's true. I'm sure it is. It's not like she goes around lying to us. And because these are acrylic, sometimes it's nice to have something a little bit underneath them. I 
felt like that was race, but it's not. So I'm going to use my, this seems to work out pretty good. It's flexible and it will allow me to stamp and then pull off, see how new this stamp is? Stamp and then pull off and it's kind of nice. So I'm going to start in the middle because I want to be able to read birthday wishes. I'm actually going to put this up here. So once I have it all stamped well, I'm going to try not to get my head in the way too much. I'm going to stamp birthday wishes here in the middle. And then I'm going to stamp off. So I'm going to use a piece of scrap. And the same thing over here. How cute is that? Now, to me, this is cute just like that, but I, it's not done. There's more, folks. But wait, there's more. Now, the stamp is nice and clean. And because I'm anal, I have to put it back right away. even though I know I'm gonna use it again in a minute but for the next cod. Okay, so now I'm going to finish this off with more washi underneath, 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 and I'm gonna use the stripe first because I like it. And I wanna still do it parallel. So let's see how that looks. Actually, hey, that looks pretty good. I thought I was gonna to have to lift it back up. But no, I didn't have to. I did not have to. I did not have to. Okay, crafting makes me very silly. Especially when I feel like I'm talking to myself. Actually, I don't even feel like I'm talking to myself. I almost feel like you guys are sitting in the same room. and Which is pitiful because I would be this silly and I need a drink of tea. I went to Chick-fil-A today. I don't know if you guys have Chick-fil-A's. But I don't go there enough. I love Chick-fil-A. And as a matter of fact, I call it chick fil There's a silly story behind that. My ex-boyfriend's dad used to call it chick fil and, and we'd say, it's not chick fil it's Chick-fil-A. And he's like, well, it looks like chick fil And it does kind of look like that on the sign. So I say chick fil because it's fun. And they have the best sweet tea. And they have the best chicken sandwiches, too. I had a number two and you can get like baked potatoes with it now now you can either use this side or this side and I kind of like this side if if you could have seen more of the ice cream I'm kind of or the cake and stuff I don't know I'm debating do I want this side or the other side or do I just want to go with the yellow do I have enough yellow? I don't have enough yellow to do this one yet. So the yellow is going to have to go down here further. Or I can make it stripe like that. If you guys could see that, stripe like that. Um, so let's do this yellow. Oh, where's the beginning? The other ones didn't didn't seem to have that little starter thing like this one does or if they did I just didn't even notice which is maybe why I thought this was lifted up a little bit it's not it's just the starter thing I bet <laughs> oh goodness me they all had it I'm sure and I just missed it so let's see if this is straight gosh I'm really getting good at this but let's say it wasn't straight, watch, you can just peel it right off. Oh, it did come up a little bit, but usually you can just peel it right off. How cool is that? I mean, even with it coming up a little bit, you can still cover that baby up. It wasn't bad. All right, I'm gonna use this striped or polka, 
This could be polka dot. I'm going to use the polka dot again because the polka dot happens to be my favorite. I love the polka dots. Do I do that one straight too? People, I am doing it. So excited. Hey, this is really cute. Oh, sorry, I have a work phone and it's ringing and I'm not going to answer it. Okay, I'm going to do this blue side. And let's see what we can do here. Did I do it? I am just amazed at myself. I'm just cutting this off again, same reason as I did the up, the upstairs, the other one, <laughs> the upstairs one. And my bone folder, I will take and fold this down. And you know what, I think I'm going to even use just a piece of scotch tape because I don't know if I got any of the snail tape on the, this little piece here because, you know, I just randomly put it on the piece of tape so there if I did that or the piece of paper then I know I got it and I will do the bone folder over here to this side this is cute Misty so cute I am not new to card making but I still love these kits. So I think that any level of card maker would like these kits. And I just enjoy having extra cards in my stash so I can be at the ready when I need to be. And then I'm guilty of making cards for people that I know that are, you know, have a birthday coming up. Like I have a friend whose birthday is this Saturday, so I need to mail her a card. So I'll probably make her a card, even though I have a million in my stash. Um, so I have a lot of cards in my stash, but it's still just so much fun. I have a piece of washi stuck to my thumb. I don't know if you guys heard it, it made like a little sound. Uh, I think it was this. Like the air was coming out of it, so I was trying to make it again. That's why I was pushing on it. That is cute. That is so cute. And then the inside of the card. You also put a little bit of washi. And I'll do the stripe. And I'll do the pokey dots. Because I like the pokey dots. I just now wondered what I was going to make for dinner. That's weird how thoughts go in your head like that. 
I like the pokey dots. I like the pokey dots. I like, I like, I like, I like, I like the pokey dots. Okay. And I need one more color. How about the yellow? Yellow. Yellow. His friends just called him yellow. Good old Kitty Rogers. Name that tune. <laughs> I'm aging myself, I'm sure. That was my very first album, like, on vinyl. And it was all mine, and I was so excited. Okay, that is so cute. Now I need to take my ATG gun... And glue this down to the inside of my card. This is really pretty paper. And I don't think I ever would have picked this color paper. And I wonder if it tells you what color it is. Bermuda Bay. So it is the same color as this. Bermuda Bay. That's cute. I could give my friend that's having a birthday this card. This is really pretty. And then, oh no, where are my dimensionals? Well, luckily I have some more. I know I have some somewhere, but because they're not easily found, I'll just open a new pack since, I was gonna say since I'm in a hurry, but I'm really not in a hurry. But I know that I don't want this video to be six hours long. And I'm sure Misty would appreciate if I didn't prolong any of it. Not that she's telling me to do this or anything. She, she you know, this, this is all me. But I want to make her look good because I think she is good. And I can't wait to meet her. kind of cool that I get to go there for work of all places. So there is our card and how cute is that? And I can see me putting a little bow on there but I'll save that for later. Maybe I will after I've made the other ones I'll make a little bow with my new bow, bow punch and put that on there maybe but that is cute. But I think that the bows would be hard to nail. Hmm, I don't know. Okay, so time for card number two. Card number one is complete. I think I did it all right. I did it a little differently than she did, but I think it's still close. I love that she gives you color directions of everything. Ooh, this is a candle gatefold card. Sorry, I had to get a drink. So let's see, which one is this? Looks like it's this one. And supplies needed. Just making sure I have everything. And everything should be right in here handy dandy. She's even scored the card for you. This is awesome. Awesome, 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 awesome. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so, see the thing is, I could probably do these cards without even paying attention to the written instructions much because the picture is so darn good and because she's got everything already pre-cut for me. It's just fabulous. But I like to read the instructions anyway, just to make sure I'm doing it the way she tells me to do it. But, let's see. So, I know that I put one of these here, and one of these here. And then I'm going to put this on top of this. And I'm going to put this in here. Okay, but let me read these real quick. I'll be right back. I'm just reading. Do, 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 do.
Oh, we get to stand. Cool. Okay, what's this? Stamp the dotted rectangle. She even gives you a piece of post-it so that you can... Man, oh man, oh man. This is awesome. So, this will go in here and I will stamp birthday wishes or whatever I feel like I want to stamp on there. And then out here, I'm going to do some... Do, 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 do. Where's my tape runner? Here it is. Do I like it like that? Or do I like it like that? Oh, I think I like it like this because then it's not the same color orange on everywhere. All right. All right, Misty. I'll do it the way you did it. You is smart. You is kind. And you is intelligent. No, there's one more. I don't remember. Do you guys know that movie? I don't know what's the problem with me and movies and stuff right today. Name that tune. Name the movie. I'll just tell you the tune was what was the tune? Oh, Coward of the County by Kenny Rogers. And that movie was The Help. Very good. If you haven't seen those, those that movie, oh, oh, those are cute too. I guess I could have done that, but I want it to be birthdays. Birthday, birthday, birthdays, cause I like birthdays. So I'm only going to tape down half of this. Pretty good at getting it straight. Oh, but I could have gotten it over a little further. Let me put another piece of... There we go. That's a better, that's a better, that's a better. You say you love me, I say you better. Okay, where's my little scrappy piece of paper? So this is gonna go on here like this, but I need to stamp on this. And I don't have all the new colors like she does, so we're just gonna go with some colors that I do have. This is so cute, I really love this banner. She went with the polka dots and I will too because I think we've established that I like the polka dots. I am digging on the polka dots. Yes siree. So let's see what colors do I have that I can use that will be pretty um, and match. I'm going to take out my little paint box here and see what I got in this. These are kind of um, chalk like though. So, I'm also going to look and see what else I have. Um, I knew I had this. This is how I get sometimes. I say I need something, and I probably bought this five years ago. And I'm just now opening it because I needed it so badly, obviously. And I've used it so many times. But Misty tells me I shouldn't use my 
Distress Ink, and that's the one that was always handy. So I don't know how to just do one color, though. Oh. With that other one, you can, like, pick out a color. I don't think you can do that with this. Huh, no, you cannot. So, it's like all or nothing. Well, that could be fun. Let's see how that looks if I did like all three of these colors. That looks fabulous, doesn't it? I need my little stampin' cheater thing, don't I? So let's try this again. Still not doing very well in the middle. Goodness gracious, it's just not wanting to do the middle. And I have some other happy mail coming sometime soon. You guys want to know what I ordered for myself? The Misty. Oh yeah, I did it. I did it. I ordered the Misty. Do you guys know what that is? It's the most incredible stamping tool invented or something like that. That's what it stands for. And it allows you, it's kind of like this. And you open it up and you put the stamp there and you have your card here and you do this and you stamp. And then when you lift it up, you can re-stamp if you need to because your card is still here and your stamp is still where it was. So if it didn't stamp entirely, well, you can re-stamp. I need that in my life. So I ordered it. Yes, indeedy, mosquiti. Okay, let's try another one. Let's, let's try this green and see how we can do with this one. Because those blues don't really match the card at all. The green's not bad. I guess I'm looking at the other card. Maybe I should look at this card and see what matches. I guess it doesn't really matter. I don't know. Let me try the other stamps and see how that is. I don't really like the three color thing. I really wanted to take those apart. If any of you know how you can do that, please tell me. And I do have individual colors, guys. I, I'm not deprived of stamping colors. It's just so hard to dig through my thing. It's just not appealing to me. So I'm sorry this is taking a little bit of time, but I need to find out some colors that work well for me. I think this color might. This is called Aqua. Let's see how this looks. Yeah, I think I can live with these kind of colors. Okay, so I'm going to go with these and I'm going to go ahead and do the Aqua one. And here we go, folks. I'm going for it right on the daggone thing. I need to put this here. So this one's going to be my middle one. And I'm going to try to move it so that I get the middle. I know that this is a no-no and that you shouldn't do that. Oh, but that's a nice stamp, isn't it? And then, so I also need to take that post-it note that was included so nicely and stamp again onto this post-it note. If I can see that, which I can't. So I'm going to re-stamp that. Of course, it's the same color, so let me get a different color. Arg. makes it kind of difficult when I'm using the thing, doesn't it? Okay, so 
Let's see, what color do I want next? Maybe this color. This one is coral. Oh yeah, that looks great. <laughs> you can't really tell, obviously. So now I'm going to fussy cut this because this is going to be our mask. And this is just a rectangle cut so it's really easy and this ink is still a little bit wet so I'm just trying to be a little careful and you want to get it close to the line so that it'll actually mask the stamp So any places that need trimmed, I'm just trimming it really close to the candle. And now I'm taking this and I'm going to put it over this. And I cut it a little bit poorly, so I'm putting it over this patch to this line. Oops. Goodness gracious, and it's probably not sticking very well because this is still kind of wet. So I'm just going to put just a hair of this on there too. My envelope came off. Okay, and I'm just matching it up to this side and the top. And then I'm going to stamp or ink my stamp with this coral. And I'm going to come in next to this candle with this candle. Then I will pull off my candle and I will pull off the mask and see how it looks like they're behind each other. Isn't that cute? And then I'll put the mask over here on this side to cover up those and then I'll figure out my next color, which I think will be green and I happen to have the Stampin' Up! green one because I got it in my pumpkin kit which I will also post I don't know when that's coming out though and that might already be scheduled I don't even remember if I've even downloaded it or edited it yet I'm pretty sure I have okay so now I'm going to get out my little green I have the little green cucumber crush which is a new in color so I'm just stamping this cucumber crush and I'm going to do the same thing I did with the coral one only I'm going to do it on this side and I'm just making sure that that thing gets done Ooh, that's a little dark I almost kind of now wish it was that color, but that's all right. It won't look bad. Soup. And now look, it looks like all three candles are like just next to each other. Isn't that cute? And then I will keep this there so that if I ever need it again, I will have it handy. If I ever need it again, you know I'll need it again. Alrighty. So now I need to stamp the little flame. These are really stuck on here. I get songs stuck in my head all the time. And the bad thing is, is I don't know all the words, so I just kind of sing what I know, which isn't much. 
and it's crazy. Okay, let's make the flame yellow. Yellow. <laughs> there I go again. This is cute, cute, cute. Misty, I really like this set. Very cute. And I think it might need a little bit of orange in it too. So what I'm going to do And sorry if my head is in the way or if I can't get this. I just really need to look directly on it. So sorry if this isn't in the picture. I'm just putting a little bit of orange on my stamp and then re-stamping over where I had stamped before. So that there's a little bit of orange in there too. Hopefully you guys can see that. And let's put this away I'm really thankful that I have this set even though it's this is probably I don't even want to guess how old this is I think this is the very first stamp set that I got stamp pad that I got and this was before I had my daughter and she is going to be 18 years old in November so I would say I got this nearly 20 years ago that is scary especially since considering that I'm only 29 <laughs> but seriously that is old if that is indeed the stamp set that I'm thinking it is and I think that I'm right that's how old that is and some of it's falling apart but it still has pretty good ink because I didn't use it very much okay let's see there okay so now we are going to Put this on here. And I don't know if we use dimensionals. What did she say? No, she didn't use dimensionals that I can tell. So I'm just going to put some adhesive on here and put this on here just like that and then I will put some of these bad boys on this side one two three Oops. And put this over here, and I want it to stick over the, this way some. No. <laughs> well, that's, that's the way it goes anyway. That's cute. Okay, so then now the inside, before I glue it down, I should stamp the birthday wishes or whatever I want to put on there, which is what I want to put. So let's get this guy on here. And I think I'll do this again in black. I love the crispness of this black ink. So let's see. Oh, and something else that Misty includes in the monthly subscription is access to videos of her making all the projects. So you can see how they're supposed to be done if you do it differently or if you want to watch those first and then do it. I just kind of like to 
try to do a little bit of my own thing before I watch hers and then I have another idea of how to do it if I did it differently but based on the pictures I do it pretty close but sometimes I've noticed that things are a little different and that's kind of cool and I'm just putting that back in there Do -do 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 -do. and I didn't stick this down first in case I stamped poorly and then I would have the other side to do because luckily the paper is two-sided and if I messed up, nobody would know. But I didn't mess up because I was prepared. If I didn't do that, if I had stuck it on there first, I would have messed up. So there is project number two. And that is really cute. And I am liking that a lot. So there we go. And time for a sippy sippy. Oh my, this next card is cute, cute, cute. Oh, I guess I, mean, I should put this back in here. The next card we're going to do is a circle cake card. Oh yeah, you heard me. Circle, circle cake card. Um, and it's scallop circle. It's way cute. I wonder if she cut that out with something from... Oh, maybe she had a big shot thing. I'm going to go ahead and put this in here too so that I won't mess it up. Yeah, I could put a bow on that, but then I think it would be really hard to mail, so I'm not going to. But I really like that. So, so far we have these two cards, and I think I'm going to send this one to my friend whose birthday is Friday. Or Saturday, 25th. Okay, so now we're going to do the circle card, which is this card. She even gave us our own little stuff, even though she we bought some in the kit. Oops. And this is washi. And I'm ripping it. Wah. Wah. We took my husband's kids, my stepchildren, to see Inside Out this weekend, which was an okay movie. It wasn't the best, but it wasn't the worst I've seen. But um, it showed a preview of the Snoopy movie, and that I cannot wait for. Okay, so it looks like this is where it's scored so that I can fold this. Okay, so. Okay, I'm going to put this down so I have my base. I'm just making sure it's pretty stuck because that's the only way it's going to stick together is with just that little bit of tape. Little bit of tape. So I'm going to use this the same size, yes. Oh, that's cute. Okay, so let's see here. I'm going to take this and this and put it this way. And then I'm going to, oh, this is such a cute little card. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and start building my little guy. And I need my cake base which is this and I'm gonna do that in the tip top taupe so I'm and this is a very solid image so let's hope that this colors well I don't know that it will but we will see Sometimes I have trouble with these colored, with these solid images like this. So let's see, let's see, let's see. Yeah, that's not going to look good at all. I knew it wouldn't. Okay, so what I need to do is find a file if I have one. I used to have one in here. Ugh. And I do. 
And I'm just gonna lightly file this. I know that sounds really weird, but if you do that, I don't know what makes it work, but something about the acrylic stamps make this, make the ink adhere to it better if you file it a little bit. So now I'm gonna clean it off. And now, oops, we're going to try again. It still doesn't look like it's holding the ink very well, but we shall see. It's better, clearly better. Okay, I'm gonna do another shot. I'm really concentrating. My tongue is sticking out and everything. Okay, let's go this way. And let's run it around the edge like I like to do sometimes. Yes! Yay! Okay, so now that we've figured that out, let's go ahead and stamp this bad boy up. Or ink this bad boy up, I should say. Stamps. Okay, so now we're going to put this on the very bottom of this page so that it can hold all the wonderful goodness of the cake. Ooh, and I just lifted that up and good thing it has two sides. That's all I gotta say because if this doesn't work, we can use the other side. Okay, here we go. Moment of truth. <sighs> Who said I was bad at this? I didn't say I was bad at this. <laughs> I'm good at this. Ooh, we saved by the stamp pad. That trick, I tell you, is a good one. The file trick. Okay, and then I need the largest cake layer. Gosh, after this, I'm going to want cakes. And then my little, on my um, planner this week, I did donuts. So... This morning I wanted donuts, and my husband didn't want to get up to go get me donuts. So I didn't get any donuts. So I'm going to do it tomorrow. I'm going to get up myself and go. And let's see. I'm going to use this cucumber crush. And I'm going to make sure that this stamps okay, because this is the first time using this one. And it did all right, but you know what? I think it could use a little bit of <coughs> filing too. <laughs> all right, so now let's stamp him up again. I wonder if that's why their name is Stampin' Up. Because you stamp them up. Oh, you ink them up, don't you? Oh, well. Alright. I really wish I had started with Stampin' Up when they first became a company. Oh, I just moved my paper. And I don't know if I'm like on there. Okay, I was just on there from this side. Whew. I think I can save it. I think I can, I think I can, I think I can. Yay! Looks decent. And then I will do the next layer, which is the stripes. I like stripes and pokey dots. Mm 
And I'm just going to live dangerously on this one. And I'm just going to go ahead and file it a little bit. And then I didn't even get it straight. Sometimes the trick to laying it straight is to lay it straight and then pick it up. And then it's straight on your on your um, block. Clean that bad boy. Now let's pick a new color. What color should I use? She used yellow. I could use yellow. But I think I might use, well, should I use early espresso and make it look like it's chocolate? Or no, because that might be too dark. All right, back to these. I'll go ahead and be a copycat and use yellow. Yellow, 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 yellow. Okay, here we go again with my head. Sorry, guys. Cutesy, cutesy, cutesy. And look how well it did. It did a good job stamping. Good job, Mr. Stamp. You stamped really well. I appreciate that. And one last one, which is the Pokey Dots. Pokey Dots, Pokey Dots, Pokey 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 Dots. And I'm going to do this one in what color? Um, let's see, I think I might do that coral again. to switch hands because I'm right-handed and sometimes my left hand isn't even there for anything other than to make me look symmetrical. There we go. Whew. I totally smeared that. Totally smeared that. But I think it's okay. I'm going to just kind of go over it and smear it the other way. All right. That's okay. It's just not polka dotted. That's okay. Let me take my little, this thing, see if I can get any of this little bits up. I think that's all right, guys. We saved it. Woo. We, woo we baby, woo we. It always stinks when it's the last thing that you're doing, and you screw up. But I'm happy with it, and nobody else will even know that it's a mistake unless you tell them. Are you gonna tell them? I didn't think you'd tell them. I knew I could count on you. It's art. Alrighty, now it looks like I need to put this down onto this. And I'm going to, oh, I'm going to take the coral again. And I'm going to go around the edges. Because I just really like that look. You can see how old these are because it tears up the ink pad. <sighs> Actually, now I have little pieces of ink all over. Oh well. All in a day's work, huh? Alright, let's get that ink off there. 
and I'm going to glue this down. like this and then I'm going to find my glue which is right here and I'm going to well first I'm gonna tie this in a little bit of a bow because she has a bow on here and it's really cute and I know I'd like the bow but if I don't use a bunch of this for the bow I'm gonna screw up the bow because I am just not that great at tying bows. You know, with my fingernails being long, it makes it even more difficult. All right, actually that looks pretty cute. I even like how it's frayed on the end. I wonder if I can make this one fray a little bit. Yeah, yay, that's cute. And then we take this and we run it along the edge of this. So I will put some glue here. Kind of roll this into place. And then I will take a glue, or I'll just do a glot of, dot of this glue since I have it out. Do 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 Oh that is so cute so cute so cute and we're not even done oh no we have three little flowers to put on here and three little pearls to put on the flowers so cute Eh Misty, I thought last week's, last week's, last month's kit was really cute, and it was, but I think I, I don't know, I might like this kit better, and I don't know that I would have purchased this birthday kit, or birthday stamp set. I do like the banner that you can put on the cake, I like that too though. So I may have just because I liked that, but I never would have thought that I would have liked this cake so much. And it is very versatile because you could use it for a wedding cake or cake. <laughs> you could use it anywhere for cake. Birthday, anniversary, wedding. I mean, I don't have to go through all the fun things you can use cake for. And I'll just go ahead and use the glue if I can find it again. Erg. And let's see, I'll put one here, one here, and one here. One here, one here. Oops, I may have gotten them too close together. And one here. Isn't that just a cute thing? And then I think I'll use dimensionals. One, two, three, four. 
four, five. And baby, you're alive. Oh, that is stinking cute. So cute, so cute, so cute. And then I'll put this on the inside. And here is card number three. Adorbs. Except for I think I made this crooked. Oh yeah, I made it very crooked. Let's see if I can peel this off and place it again. <laughs> okay, if this is where it's straight. There we go. There we go. How cute. I love it. And we got one more. Oh, sorry, I hit the tripod. Darn it. Hopefully I didn't mess it up too badly. So, the last one is a project. I think. Oh, here it is. Oh, and it's a Cutie Pie cake box. Say what? Oh man, this is gonna be cute. I can tell already because it was in the name. <laughs> Cutie Pie Cake Box. Oh my goodness, and there's little candles. You guys see this? Look how cute this is. Okay, so. I have never made one of these before and I have always wanted to because they look so darn cute. And I know that this is a big shot die. So I'm just folding all of the score lines. I don't even know which way to fold them so I'm just kind of folding them whichever way I feel at the moment. Okay, so let's see how will this go together. There's a bottom and a top. <coughs> Excuse me. So it'll fit together like that. And then this side will close together like that. So I need to put glue on the tabs here and here. I think I'm gonna actually use glue glue like this. And this scotch glue is my favorite. It can give you a nice fine line. It's quick drying tacky glue. And then I'm going to put this here. And I'm just gonna hold it for a minute. And then I'm going to put some, t some glue on both of these also. like glue. You and me, baby, we're stuck like glue. Okay, so then now I'm going to fold this over and match this up to this side. Sorry if I did that off screen. I'm just folding this over and matching the edge up. And I'm making a little bit of a mess. Let's fold these in while we do it. I don't know if that's how you're supposed to do it or not, but I really don't want those showing. 
on the edge of the cake, so I'm just kind of making up my own rule on that. And on some of these, I like to take my bone folder and push against the thing just lightly, like kind of hold it so that I know that the edges are getting glued down because I can't reach in there. And that's not sticking, so I'll put a little bit more glue on this. I'm just gonna hold that for a minute. Do -do 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 -do. Have you guys ever made one of these? I have not. I think she actually did the washi and stuff on these before she put it together and I'm kind of screwing up and doing it first because that's the way I work. <laughs> oh well. Taking a sip. They have the best. The best. Oh, this is a little bow. They have the best um, sweet tea. I don't know how that goes. I guess it goes like this. That's kind of cute. And then we have these pieces. I don't know why you have two of these. And then I don't know what this is for. <laughs> I should read this. So sorry. Excuse me a minute. Let me read. Let's see. Adhesive, small a triangle attached. All right, I fold small flowers. Okay. Oh, okay. Huh, well she gave us more of this, but I don't even think we're going to use it, but that's okay. Because we are going to use some washi, and of course I like this washi. So I'm going to start with this washi, and I'm actually going to bring it over to here. And I'm going to leave just a little bit of a bottom, just like a real cake. Whoops. I'm just going to carefully put this on the bottom of the piece of cake, the triangle, and then I'm going to move it along the side and do the same thing. And I'm going to cut the washi at the end of the cake here. Actually, you know what? I think I'll cut it at the end of this. Even though those fold down, that way I know it won't peel up. Um, and if I had done this with the washi laying down, I could have used a straight edge, like a ruler, or I use a gift card, like an old gift card, and I just put the against the washi and 
it's paper tape so it comes up really easily. And then we'll go with this one because it's the next, it's a different size. And I'll do the same thing like it's the middle layer of the cake. So I'll leave a little bit of room for icing. And then I'll put this down. It just tears nicely even without the scissors. It tears along the edge of that. It's so nice. This is a really good washi tape, guys. And then I'm going to put the this one on top. And there's our little cake. How cute is that? And then you close the box. Something like that. And there's our cake. It's so cute. And then I'm going to put this candle on here. And it looks like you kind of glue the candle pieces to each other. then you can glue it down oh the flames are going different ways oh that's all right I'm just no I can fix it There we go. I'm going to put some glue down on the bottom of each one of these little thingamabobbers. I'm going to stick this on the cake. That's cute. Haha. <laughs> little candle. And then it has a little. I'm going to put a dimensional here. I think I am. This one might be too big, so I'm going to cut this in half. Then I'm going to put this down, and this down, and then I'm going to put dimensional on this side and this side, and then I'm going to layer them with a second one because I want those sides of the bows to be sticking up a little bit. So you just take a second dimensional and just put it right on top. And then I'm going to take some glue and put it in the middle. And I will peel off this paper. And I will 
put this down here and then see how that kind of makes the the middle goes down and then the the two edges of the bows stick up well if I can get the middle to stay down with the glue so I just need to hold that there for a minute I don't want to ruin that candle so I don't know if you can see but the middle is further down than the sides of the bow that's pretty cute and then you can put birthday wishes on here and the way that she did this was interesting it is you want me to pause this hold on I can't pause it for some reason Goodness gracious. Okay, sorry, my husband needed something, and so I did go ahead and stamp this with birthday wishes, and I stamped half of the birthday and did it, and then I stamped the other half and did it, and I put this post-it there so that I wouldn't stamp on the other side, and I'm sorry I didn't hit start for that. And we are going to put this on here. And um, she says to kind of cockeye it like that. So I'm going to do that, but then I'm going to do something else here too in just a second. Okay, I should have done this first. I'm going to take a piece of the washi, and I think I'm going to use the striped washi. And I'm going to wrap it around. I think I'll go this way. And <laughs> my cat came to see me. I had the door closed so that they couldn't come in and when my husband came in he opened the door so Jambo is literally on my shoulder. I love this cat. Hi baby. Mm. And I stamped it once before and I kind of messed up on the birthday. It wasn't very crisp, so I don't know why she gave us two, but it was kind of nice because on this one, when I tried to do the other side, it was kind of smudged and you can kind of see through it with that memento. So this was fine and dandy. And then we'll put this here. And she gave us some of this and I'm not exactly sure why, but I'm going to use it. I'm going to put it here. And I'm going to tie a little bow, I think, with this there. So let's see. Oh, unless I have enough from my other piece. Oh, my bow fell off. Wah. Oh, I don't know if this is enough for me to make a bow. We'll try. Just because I'm the frugal crafter. <laughs> I actually think there is somebody called the frugal crafter, so excuse me, I'm not that frugal crafter. She's her she's got her own thing going on there. I'm just frugal, a frugal crafter, not the frugal crafter. I kind of did it, I think. I think I do did it. Okay. Fray the end a little bit because I like it like that. Oh, I think I'm just going to put it on the bow like that. And you know what? I'm going to use a glue dot because clearly when I glued the other one, it didn't work very well with that glue. So I'm just going to use a glue dot. Let's see if this works any better. Oh, that's cute and then I'll put this here and I think I'll just use a dimensional if I can find them over there mm -hmm. 
I might like to go under this a little bit. There we go. Like that. Ta-da! Close this up again. And I think if, before I gave this to someone, you know, obviously you'd put something in here. And I don't know. I, I might put some... I don't know. Maybe I'd put a little bit of tape on here to help close that so it looked like that a little more. I don't know. I mean, it's not horrible, but it, it's really, really cute. I'm loving the birthday cake. I haven't ever seen that. I could put a cute little pair of earrings or something on the inside like this. That would be adorable. Okay, so there's all four projects. This one, and this one, and this one, and this one. So, let's put them all out so you can see. And there we go. Thank you very much for watching. And check out the Jolly Fat Elf. Bye-bye.